Hello, I'm Michael. I study Maths, Geography and English Literature at A-Level. And I'm Sarah and I study Maths, English Literature and IT at A-Level. We interviewed Mrs Riley about her childhood in post-war Burnley. We took part in the project because we thought it was fascinating to learn the stories from other generations and how they were passed down. Hope you enjoy the video. Yes, I'm, I'm Mrs Riley and I live in a small village of Great Harwood. I was born just as the war broke out, 1939. My mother wouldn't let us be evacuated to a place in uh, Essex, to a family in Essex. And so my mother came back to Lancashire where her mother lived in Burnley. When we moved into this house, which was very, it was derelict, uh, so much so it had no door on, but we just couldn't get a house uh, because it was wartime. And, and not just because of that, we, my father had to go in the army to fight for his country. So my mother came back with two daughters and we had to struggle through the best way we could. Uh, my mother not having anyone to rely on because I fell on the fire, sat on the fire when I was two years old and um, uh, my mother wrapped me up in a blanket and took me to the hospital at Burnley and really the biggest part of my life when I was younger was dominated with with that uh, around me um, having, uh, having been burnt so badly. Uh, it stopped a lot of my studies having to um, come out of school, you know, and uh, be in hospital. Uh, I slept with my sister, and as she got older, she wanted a bedroom of her own. And uh, with there being uh, four and a half years between us. So mum said, well, Doreen, I'll have to go in our bedroom. So she put a, a rope or something across, and I slept in a little space in my mother's and dad's bedroom with a curtain across. So my sister had her bedroom to herself because I used to wet the bed a lot and my sister were fed up of it. And I think that would uh, put that down to uh, falling on the fire. But when we were younger and we slept in one bed, um, my mother and dad in the other room, uh, we, John and I used to play games of uh, uh, making patterns, uh, finding patterns on the ceiling because everything was whitewashed. Uh, for Christmas we used to get stencil sets and I can remember stenciling on the wall and doing little butterflies and making patterns uh, with, with this stencil set. My dad uh, was a um, French polisher and could make, could make things as well, he was a cabinet maker and of course he used to make uh, dolls furniture for me whereas most families didn't have that. But my mother had a gas iron and actually she nearly gassed my dad one. <laughs> anyway we had to drag him outside and uh, we were lucky to fetch him round because we have been breathing the gas in you see. Whereas my mother were alright because she was moving about see but he was sat near the gas pipe and nearly gassed him. Yeah. He probably would have been up for murder. <laughs> <laughs> so it was my job to take the chambers upstairs. I got to the top of the stairs, of course the stone stairs and no carpet on them. And uh, like that, <laughs> you see. And I brought, I brought one of them and it went in my arm there. And uh, my mother put a tourniquet on there, turned it round and round to stop the blood. And uh, but we, we never got it stitched. We never stitched or anything. It was gaping open. She shut it open. But uh, yeah, and mother made all the clothes. She used to make clothes out of out of linings, out of coats or, or whatever. She made all our uh, dresses and things out of lining of the coats. And when we made our first Holy Communion, uh, we didn't have any cotton. Uh, my mother, my mother used to work in. Uh, She's a very talented lady, but she worked in um, rag shop because mm -hmm. that's all they could do. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, she used to pick these pieces of cottons out to make our uh, Holy Communion dresses. My, fr my friend, when I used to go to my friend's house, uh, they, they just had jam jars to drink out of. And uh, we did have cups, you know. Uh, but they had jam jars and a lot of people had. Um, everybody wore pinnies. Everybody had a pinny on um, to keep the clothes clean for, because they didn't, my mother only had two changes of clothes. Uh, I can always remember my mother having a jumper and skirt, kept it clean for uh, the weekend. Um, I can remember being in St Mary Magdalene's uh, yard playing uh, with friends and my sister and uh, the war, the war had I think just finished, 45-46 and we'd been uh, allocated uh, chocolate from America and we, we all got a, a bag of chocolate, a pound of like cabbage chocolate, the, not not solid chocolate, uh, powdered chocolate, mm. and we also got a bag of um, boiled sweets, and every child was given that because we, we just didn't have that sort of, uh, um, and for for uh, lunches we used to well, we, um, a packet of sugar and oatmeal biscuits that mother had made, you know. Um, Condensed milk was another. We could get condensed milk, so we used to, when we were playing out, we'd come running in, and we'd want condensed milk butties. Uh, sometimes we'd come in for a sugar butty. Um, sounds revolting, doesn't it? And uh, to go to school on, we had uh, what you call pobbies. Um, we had pobbies made of uh, just plain bread and cut up into squares and uh, hot milk, a sprinkling of sugar on top and that was that was like your cereal for to go to school on. And the school were, were spiral staircase and there was uh, stone steps and they were all worn down. They'd been, um, I can remember of a, si a siren suit on at that particular time. A siren suit being uh, uh, all one suit with a flap at the back and it had buttons on, three buttons at the back. So it were easy to undo the buttons and go to the toilet. Um, the baths, the proper baths, mm -hmm. uh, slipper baths they call yeah. them. Yeah. And uh, we'd go there every week, otherwise we, we just didn't have any baths. We didn't have the tin baths, we just had the sink downstairs, no bathroom, no. And we, it, we used to, <coughs> in the kitchen, we had a, a geezer, what you call a geezer, which you turned on and, and that you got instant hot water, but you were quite well off if you had one of them.